The following video shows a brief insight into the VNF operator software used within the Premier Guard system. This operator software is designed to be used by planned operators and engineers. The operator software will be installed on the operator PC in the analyzer room of the container. During commissioning, it can also be installed on any other PC within the same network. This start screen is visible for everyone at any time and it shows the complete overview of the main components and their status. On top you can see the type of software, your logo and the plant information. Below that you have different index tabs like overview, measure, history, settings and Premier Guard. The index tabs for measure, history and settings will be explained in another short video. On the top left corner, under last order, you can see the analysis result of the last measurement with the information of date and time, the automatic generated unique order number and which sample point has been analyzed. In case that there were specifications defined for that sample point, also the information if the analyze passed or failed these specs is visible. Gray indicates passed, yellow would indicate warning, and red would indicate exceeding the limits. By clicking on the specs, you can see different limits for the defined components and the actual values of them. On the right top corner, under gas cylinders, you can see all used zero and span gas cylinders used for all analyzers. Under analyzers, you can see all single analyzers used within the Premier Guard system. Below that you can see on the left hand side the sample switching unit for the product gas sample points and on the right hand side the sample switching unit for feed and process gas sample points. Under the switching modules you can see the different sample points for product gas analysis and for the feed and process gas. Them, you can see the information bar displaying the current date and time, the actual log on user, the system status of the Premier Guard, the currently running analysis, if available an order number and its priority, indication of warning, arrow and the actual callout level. On the right hand side, you can find the operator buttons, including the system lock, the login button, the save button, cancel button, and the exit button. Every component indicates a status with text and color. In case of warnings or errors, you can click on the status and in the new window, you can see the message like shown here with the calibration gas cylinder CS4. Here it says expiration date will be exceeded shortly. The lines between the components are indicating gas flows. Using this overview, the operator can start analysis of every sample point, start calibrations of all analyzers, change gas cylinders and adjust purge times for each sample point. 
Some components allow to read information without logging in. So for instance, you can see the list of molecules contained in the calibration gas cylinder by clicking on it, selecting molecules, you can see the component and their concentrations. Under info, you would see the cylinder number, filling date, date of first use, expiration date, and the operative hour. Before changing any settings, starting analysis or start a calibration, the user has to log in and needs the permission to do so. The automatic log off times can be defined by the system administrator. Log in, you hit the log in button, select the username, enter the password. In order to start an analysis or calibration, you select the sample point by clicking on it. There you also have the possibility to change the purge times under change settings. Start a calibration of all analyzers or to start a measurement. We are now going to do a batch analysis of tank 2. So we select measure tank 2 and this window pops up. Here we select if it is a batch or lot analysis. Since we are analyzing a tank, we choose batch. Then we select the COA that we require and the priority for this analysis. The priority defines if an analysis can be interrupted by higher priority requests, so we choose highest. By clicking start measure, the analysis starts. You now see sample point tank 2 starts to be purged. Purging. After that, its status changes to active and the analyzers are being purged. After this predefined purging time, the analyzers will change their status to active, which now means that they are measuring. When the analyzers have finished measuring for the predefined time, another new window pops up. In this window, we can see the automatic generated batch number and we have to choose whether foreign appearance, odor and taste were compliant or not. Then we hit the OK button and the COA is being sent to the printer. Now we get the information that it was sent to the printer. We confirm OK. In the meantime, the system continued in the auto-analysis cycle, like we can see here on the bottom. 